Inside this small box is an adding machine. Here are the instructions, slightly mouse eaten. And there it is. It's Goldman's Arith style Arith machine, or the Arith style for short. It's quite heavy. There we go. It comes with this uh, stylus, the Arith style, the handiest, fastest, cheapest computing machine by the Arith style company in New York. And uh, yes, it's a very small uh, pocket sized machine but it weighs about a kilogram, so it's not easy to carry around in your pocket. It's a chain adder. It has a nine digit register and nine chains. And with the stylus you can then uh, put the stylus in one of the chain links, push it down and pull it towards you. And that adds the number you've uh, entered, the digit, to the a digit in the register. Of course it has an automatic carry mechanism when you uh, put the stylus in you have to really push down the column because that unlocks the mechanism. If you don't do that the chain just won't move The, uh, the register can be cleared with this uh, clearing mechanism. You have to push this button to unlock it and then you just turn until it clicks into place. It says here at the bottom Goldman's Arith, Arith style and uh, it has a copyright here of 1911. Henry Goldman was uh, a German immigrant who came to America and he came up with his, uh, his Arith machine adder in 1898 and it wasn't a big success so he then went back to Germany for a while from 1905 till 1911 and he made his machine there as well that was then called the Conto style. In 1911 he went back to America, this time to New York instead of Chicago, and there he again made this machine. Uh, he died in 1914, but this machine was made from 1911 until yeah, the early 1920s. It was made in New York, the Arith style company in New York. It comes on this uh, uh, stand. You can uh, flip open this uh, leg and then set it on your desk at, a, at an angle. Uh, this stand can easily be removed. It just is clamped onto the bottom of the machine. And that allows you to use this uh, uh, on your ledger book as well because the columns are the same width as the columns in standard ledger books. Uh, Henry Goldman took this from uh, Landin's computer, or the Rapid computer. That was the first to have that idea. And he uh, also provided this, this frame so that when you put it on a ledger book you frame the numbers that you're trying to add. And uh, at the top here, this uh, is a plastic or celluloid, uh, yeah, memo pad that you can uh, write down something on on pencil. Which is this is useful when you're doing division, because yeah, you can't really write down the results. Uh, yeah, there's no register for the results. This stylus is actually also a pencil, so you can sharpen this end to use uh, as a pencil. So, uh, oh yeah, and there's this, this one, uh, there's this uh, decimal pointer here that you can move around. And there's also this uh, cover. There's a, a small knob that uh, came off. 
But uh, yeah, with this you can cover a digit or, or uh, split the register in two parts. You can cover a digit uh, for when, when you subtract and you have an extraneous one in the leftmost uh, significant position. Um, yeah, on the bottom it has a, a list of patent numbers and the serial number 11989. And uh, yeah, most of these machines are the ones made in New York after 1911. The earlier ones are much rarer. But even so, uh, I think only about uh, 2,000 of these ones in uh, New York were made because all the uh, serial numbers I've been able to find are between 11,000 and 12,100, so maybe not even, uh, yeah, not even 1,200 are made. So, anyway, th this was the uh, Goldman's Arith style Arith machine. Thank you for watching.